I'm Farmer Sim. And I'm Mrs. Sim Gamer. And welcome back, everybody, to episode four of Perbeck 22, our crossplay multiplayer co op series. So, hi, Mrs. SG. How are you? You okay? I'm great. How are you? I'm good, thank you, mate. I'm good. Really excited to get back to work with you here at, on, on our farm. So am I. I have been dying to get back, but it's it's been a it's been a busy last week was a busy week for both of us and now we've finally got some time to sit down and uh, jump back in, haven't we? We certainly have, mate. We certainly have, albeit in real life it's quite warm today across the UK, isn't it? So <laughs> It is warm. Yes. It is warm. Very much so. So, but in game, we're in November, although the sun is still shining. The yes. The sun is still shining. It certainly is. Um, so what have we got ahead of ourselves today, mate? We've got um, job-wise, as you remember from the end of the last episode, episode three, we got our first sugar beet harvest done. Um, and now we need another one, don't we? Yeah, well, we've got two sugar beet fields to complete in November. So it is a crazy month ahead. It is. But whilst Farmer Sim is topping, I am also, we're under time crunch to get some winter wheat or barley or, or oat into the ground so that we have some straw for our pig expansion. So we are going to divide and conquer today. We certainly are. Yep, I'm going to get back, uh, get hooked up to the, uh, the home topper again and get jumping in. I think I'll start on the bigger of the two fields, get the big one done first. Um, yeah. That will be and I'm going to cult. I'm going to cultivate to get that seedbed perfect, and yep. then what? What would you like? Wheat, barley, oat? Uh, I don't mind, mate. Really, I think it's. I, I mean, I suppose would it be would it be financially sensible to go for whichever one of those crops brings the most money in towards? Or, or yeah. thinking about it, then I suppose if we're also going to, is, are any of those crops good for the pigs? They are the grains. So wheat, wheat and barley, we could feed a little bit to the pigs. Not a massive amount, so yeah. um, it's it's part of their diet. So yes. we could do barley or wheat to to cover or tick that box. Yes. But we do have plenty of fields. Remember, we've we've got the we've got the one which we completed last week. Yep. Just just to the right of us or to the left of you. Yep. Um, and then the two behind us are going to be ready, unless we leave them until spring next year for for the next season. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, we're, we're, time's not going to be on our side at the minute, is it? If, if we should we jump, no. should we jump into the crop calendar menu and just have a quick look see? Um, Let's do that. We are annoyingly the only crop. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Sorry. Yeah. So we're we're we've got a two day month. We're in November at the. I mean, we might if we're lucky. We might get a window of opportunity to get a last-minute drilling of wheat or barley or oat if we, we, if we work our little socks off today and get the. Although it is a big ask, isn't it? Because we've got to we've got to top both the sugar beet fields. We've got to harvest both the sugar beet fields. Then we've got to plough. Then we've got to cultivate and stone pick, and then yeah. drill. So we I... we might be cutting it up, cutting it fine there. I think so, and I also we do need to be realistic that if we put too much winter wheat and barley in now, we're going to miss the opportunity to put in either corn or sunflowers or potatoes for yeah. the next planting season Absolutely. because they can't be har they can't be harvested until September next year. So it would be sensible maybe just to restrict these two fields we already have ready. Yes. One wheat, one barley, maybe? I think you're right there, mate, absolutely. Up here for thinking, down there for dancing and all that. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. And then we in December and January, we could just prep those fields and leave them ready for March, April next year. Yes, yes, right. That's a better plan than what I plan? had in mind. Plan, yes. That's a plan, Stan. It's right. A... <laughs> it certainly <laughs> is. Right, so what we did... So I'm good. So first things first, you're going to cultivate, I'm going to top the horn in the big field aren't i so uh, yeah i'm gonna take the fence okay absolutely mate yeah they're all ours use which, with you? yeah it's good with me mate use whichever one you want the, the fence probably about right for that little cultivator to be fair yeah so, uh, it only needs 35 horsepower so it does perfect opportunity to jump in this little baby it is and i shall get the uh i'll get my big blue thing out the way so you can get the little fence in here because the horn topper is in this shed here so if i yeah you take your time 
let's get hooked up here. There we go. Rock and roll. So let's squeeze out. Now, which way do I yeah, get to the field? You don't want to... You don't want to add to my crash counter now, do you? <laughs> oh yeah, that was a, that was a brief topic of discussion in the comments of, of on our last video yesterday, wasn't it? <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna fuzz it out next time. Nothing to see here. Our viewers are keeping tabs on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Literally sitting there with a pen and paper, going one, two, three. Yeah. Oh goodness. It'll be a be um like playing hangman in a minute <laughs> yeah <laughs> although we, are we going to run out of paper we've got that many uh... oh oh well i hope not i'm not that bad i, I don't know. think oh. that i tell you what that episode though i just couldn't figure out where i was going so i was crashing into anything and everything <laughs> <laughs> very much using the bumper oh, well i suppose tractors don't have bumpers do they but if they oh do... buddy we have weeds oh do oh oh heck so we do. Well, I suppose that's the, another the, job to our list. Well, the, this field needs ploughing under the, the field. Yeah, it, that need, that field needs ploughing under, doesn't it? So we'll we'll get rid of them with uh, the plough. Of course, it does. It needs ploughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's all, all right. right. Yeah. Um, so there isn't one more job. In fact. Okay, I'm gonna head. I'm gonna head up here and get this cultivated. Yes. Yeah. In fact, I'm just. Ooh. Do you know what? Oh no! I'm looking at the wrong field. Goodness me! It's the heat. It's getting to me. That's all I'm going to the say. The heat is getting. Yeah, when, the heat when, is definitely getting to us. When you mentioned weeds, I just thought I'd have a quick peek in the map at our field 32, the field that we drilled with. What did we drill it with? Um, canola. Can, canola, yeah, our canola field. Um, and thankfully, that the, there is no weeds in that field yet. It's all good. So, uh, yeah, as we were, carry on. I'm topping. And I am getting a lovely seedbed ready. Excellent. Um, thinking barley up here. You reckon? Yeah. Spot at barley. Then, 30, then 33 will do some the wheat. Yes. Yeah, that's a good idea, I think. Yes, let's do that. Let's do Ooh, that. Oh, I've got some lovely lag going on here. Oh, have you? Yeah, I think it's the trees, you know. I haven't experienced any lag on my side yet. Are you still experiencing lag, or was it a quick in and out? No, it was a quick spike, but yeah. a good spike nevertheless. <laughs> a good spike. Yeah. The trees are really close to this top field, so sometimes when there's a... Trees give me a little bit of a spike sometimes <clears throat> oh, okay. in lag or multiplayer. Oh, okay. Because they, 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 are, they are right on the edge of the map as well, though, aren't they? So it's, they are, it's interesting yeah. that we get a bit of lag right on the edge of the map. I haven't had any lag yet, so I'll no doubt be due some at some point. <laughs> um, hey ho! So going all right here so far. So how's things with you, mate? You've been doing all right. How's your week been? Really good week, actually. A nice weekend. We got a um, we ordered a pizza oven, oh, nice. so we were we were having a lot of fun with a pizza oven over the weekend and uh, very nice. a few beverages of choice only a few though <laughs> yes very nice yeah it's been the weather for it hasn't it it really has it's uh, yeah it's it's just so warm at the moment it's uh yeah we're it's... not used to it though here are we no we're certainly not it's it's i mean i don't mind the heat don't get me wrong but when it gets as hot as it is now i think we're knocking on the door of almost 30 degrees and there's just very little breeze where anywhere you go so it just makes it muggy. So at the minute we've got like curtains drawn at the front of the house just to keep the rooms cool and windows open. Mm. Um, the fan that I dug out of the loft yesterday for the wee man didn't work. <laughs> it, it worked when oh, it, it worked no. at the end of the at the, at the uh, when it went into the loft, and it was only a couple of months old when it went into the loft. And now I brought it down, given it a dust off, and it doesn't work. And it's like. Really? Why? Just when you need it to. I know. It's it's. I it doesn't. It beggars belief. It really does. But it never makes sense when that happens. No, but that's just something else for me to fix. I've uh, I've changed the fuse. It wasn't the fuse, so it's, like, it's just it's just one of those usual. It's a, it's quite a big fan, but it's uh, it's just a, a a desk fan, but it's quite it's quite large, but it's just doesn't make any sense. I don't understand why it doesn't work. It was fine. It's not done anything. It's sat there, doing nothing. 
Hey ho, oh. what can you do? What can you do? But uh, I've got, I was um, I've ordered an, an, another fan. Oh dear, um, I've ordered another fan today just because it's moving them. I think moving them causes an issue. It sounds ridiculous, but they're they're quite delicate bits of kit, right? Some of yeah, some of them are. You're right. Yeah, they don't they don't travel well. Can either. We? Oh hello, there you Another are. Hit. There Another we hitch. are. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, you're right. They, they even they don't travel well. They don't travel between rooms well. I mean, they, as long as you look after them, I suppose. I mean, I was wasn't flung in the loft. It was taken up into the loft and placed and yeah, placed. literally left there. Um, but it is what it is, isn't it? It's it's just annoying that when you want a fan at this time of year, especially in the UK, and this has been my experience for the last couple of years, it's like if you want to nip out and grab a fan. You'll probably find that everywhere's Can't sold out because everyone's bought one, and it's yeah. like, come on! Well, it's it's the same. Everybody goes and turns theirs on, and like, oh, it's not working. <laughs> it's the same with winter. You turn your boiler on, and it's broken. Yes, <laughs> it's just <laughs> sod's law, mate. Sod's law. That's what it is. Oh, uh, but... once our boiler in our house broke the week of Christmas. Oh no, Christmas. We. Christmas. Oh. We were so so lucky. We found somebody to order and fit one a few days before Christmas. Oh, so it, it broke to the point where you needed to replace it, or it had to be replaced. Oh, you're joking. We were we were patching it up and it was running, and then one day it was just like nope, and it was yeah, seven eight seven days before Christmas day. Well, the seventh day before. There's there's some kind of rhyme for that, isn't there? Is that Christmas oh, rhyme? Oh, there is. Seven days of Christmas, the boiler blew up. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When we moved, when we moved into our house, we it was a dodgy boiler anyway, as in something always needed to be fixed. Yeah. But yeah, and it, it always happens at the wrong time when you really need a boiler. Yes, it always does. You're absolutely right. It's uh, there's never a good time for a boiler to go anyway, but you'll be guaranteed that oh no. when you I, I mean I, I always try and be prepared in that a couple a few weeks before the cold snap starts to kick in I'll always I'll fire the heating up I'll run around the house I'll bleed all the radiators I'll make sure that the boilers up to pressure because you can be certain hello doggy can hear your yeah, doggy that is Luna barking sorry yeah, no it's all right um, Luna bear be quiet <laughs> darling barking at anything in particular or just feeling left out uh just feeling left out, I think. She's uh, she will bark at anything and nothing. This one. Yeah. Thankfully, mine's not so bad. Mine, or mine will bark at any doorbell, um, any knock at the door. Even the way the, uh, she barked, uh, he barked. Sorry, at my mum's doorbell because my mum lives directly behind us here, so that in, in in the house directly behind us, and she's got quite a loud doorbell. So the postman came to the door with a parcel, and Max was Max was sitting in our house, and he heard mum's doorbell, which is, I mean. You're talking, what, 50, that is 40, 40 metres away, maybe, 50 metres away? And be, but because all the doors and windows are open, he just went gallivanting through just the garden. Mad. Yeah, because we've got both the, both the gardens are kind of, in inverted commas, joined together. We've got a fence panel or two removed between the gardens so that we can come and go between my mum's house and so the dog's got two gardens to... The poo That's in. So cool. <laughs> well, it's it's all right. It's handy when I run out of things like coffee and dishwasher tablets because I can go and burgle Mum's kitchen before I have to make a pilgrimage to the shop. <laughs> that is genius. Well, it's all right. It's worked for I now. I tell you what, I think there's people outside, and my window's open, so that's what I think she's barking at. Yes, it will be the case, no doubt. We've all got our windows open. I've got a, there's a there's a guy next door. Uh, whacker plating a patio at the minute so if there is any uh, any noise disruption from my side of things I humbly apologize um, I can just wow. hear, I can hear a patio being compacted it's uh, a noisy thing thankfully I can't hear a thing oh, good maybe it's maybe my uh... I'm... Oh. I'm sure our viewers would understand well, we yes. need we need we need a, the tiniest bit of breeze that we can find at the moment. We certainly do, and I, even in this room, this, this room, the room I'm sat in has got a window on either side of the room, so it's a perfect computer room yes. because most of the time there's a nice breeze. But right now, 
it's 30 odd degrees there isn't a single iota of wind or breeze coming through anywhere it's just a sweat box <laughs> here we are that sitting over our computer nice. systems com the computers creating heat making it even warmer <laughs> oh, the and we do doing. this all for you guys we, we do, do this all for you yes we do <laughs> how are you getting on with the cultivation oh, it is, uh, I've got a nice big block in the middle still to go. Yeah. This, uh, but it's looking beautiful. Good, good. This field is coming along. It's just such a narrow uh, topper, so I've got to... Uh, I've made a dent in it. I think I'm on third, maybe fourth uh, headland. Oh, forgive me. Nice one. My. Uh, We're getting there. Yes. I've just said, you know, you know the noise that Windows makes when you disconnect a device? Yeah. I have just, I've just, I've just had that once or twice on my, on my audio there, because my, uh, my headphones I've had plugged in. But when they, when they're plugged in and they're charging, it's fine. But when the charging finishes, it, may, it, it automatically disconnects itself, and it just makes that noise. And it's like, oh, really? It's very unprofessional. <laughs> I, uh, I, honestly. When it's when it comes to this, but especially a, a multiplayer series, it's supposed to be fun. So yes. if if anything like my you know my dog will bark or you know anything could happen. It is yeah, anything could happen, and it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, I reckon I've got. So how many coffees have you managed to drink today? Quite a few. Um, I woke up quite early because it was obviously just uncomfortably warm. Too I've warm. been up been up since about half five this morning. Um, so I'm well and truly into double figures for the coffee total for the day. <laughs> um, but it's, again, it's too hot for coffee. <laughs> I, I think it I, is. Well, I've I've been doing making iced coffees today. Ice coffees. <sighs> yeah. Ooh, check you out. I love making a nice coffee. A nice iced coffee. I don't I don't go all out and you know get the mixer or anything. I've just I have an espresso machine. Oh, so I've nice. got a couple of ice cubes in the bottom nice chunky ice cubes yeah yeah then some sugar free um like toffee toffee syrup oh Pump nice that. oh wow chuck in an espresso on top and then the ice crackles yeah, uh, yeah. give it a little swirl around fill it up with milk pucker oh that sounds delicious yeah it is just ideal in this weather i could I'm struggling to drink hot coffee, so I'm constantly in the kitchen making toffee iced coffees. coffee. <laughs> toffee coffees. Toffee coffees. Yeah. Um, and it gives me a fake sugar hit as well, so. <laughs> I need a genuine sugar hit, unfortunately. Oh. I um. I've got yeah. I've got one of those uh, coffee pod machine things where you put the little pod of coffee in the top and press a button and stuff happens and yeah. it spits out coffee slowly into it. I use it for, uh, I get these cafe latte things, I, I like a frothy coffee. Um, mm, but nice. I, I don't actually have any in at the minute, I need to go and stock up actually. Um, yeah, ours is just a pod one as well, throw the pod in. Yeah. Um, then we have the throffer on this, the throffer is actually inbuilt into the machine. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it's awesome, I love them. They are handy, they are good. Um, so how are you getting on, mate? How's, how's field progress going? Field progress? I reckon I've got another five rows. I can see you, actually. I've just asked you the question, but I've just answered my own question by literally just tootling up beside you. I can see how you're doing. Yeah, you're I'm doing nine good. miles an hour. Same here, actually. This runs at nine miles an hour. I did just have a lag spike then, and it went up to 16 miles an hour randomly. Didn't <laughs> even know that was possible. A speed spike. A speed spike, yeah. <laughs> Fast and furious over here. I haven't, I haven't actually had any lag spikes yet, so that's uh, interesting. I don't know what determines lag spikes. I think, I think it's worse for the person who's joining the game. Oh, okay. So, cause you, you're hosting the game. Yeah. Um, and I've had it before where I've played with my sister. Yeah. And the lag is real. It's <laughs> the, the lag is real. For her. Right, okay. Yeah. Is it quite For bad? Her, I'm fine. As long as I'm fine, though, I say I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so does, she, does your sister play on a PlayStation as well, or do you do cross-play with your sister? Do cross-play with Lou, just on... She held, We're on Macintosh, um, ah. because of our business. Yep. 
Yeah. So she plays on Mac. Excellent. Um, with a PlayStation controller. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that's how I play on my PC. I've got a PS4 controller on, on my hand at the minute. Um, oh, it's delightful, isn't it? It is good. My, my, my only limitation is my... my my uh, PC, my gaming rig, doesn't actually have any Bluetooth inside it. The motherboard doesn't have Bluetooth, so I can't wirelessly connect my controller. So I have to have oh. I have to have a cable. And frustratingly, I tried about five or six cables that would to, to make it work properly. And it, the, the only cable that would work was a, a very very old Nokia charging cable. That's that coincidentally that coincidentally has the same port as the PS4 controller, and it's about a foot long. <laughs> so I've got to wow. have I've got to have a USB extension lead plugged into my USB uh, multi-port thing that's on my desk, and then this little case. It's dead weird. I just, uh, I've got all so many versions of the cable that I need to make a PS4 controller work, but the only one that would work was 20 years old. And it says Nokia on it. I mean, who's had a? When was the last time you even saw a Nokia? Oh well, they made a bit of a comeback, didn't they? Did they? Um, with the the what's the original Nokia? Is it thirty two ten? Oh, what's it called? Was it a thirty two ten? The one that had the one that had Snake on it. Snake and the interchangeable cases. Yeah. Do you remember how exciting it was to get a different colour case? Yes, I do. And now it's like. <laughs> It's, it's, it's hilarious how technology is just it's incredible isn't it i mean it's a wonderful it's a wonderful oh, yeah. thing but it's all i mean i have my own pet frustrations with phones the modern day phones anyway smartphones they're, they're great don't get me wrong they're wonderful it's amazing that you can do you can just about manage your entire digital life with your phone mm. can't you you can do your emails your obviously your text messages you can browse the internet you can do facebook you can YouTube, you can do everything from your phone, which is great, but I've, I mean, maybe it's my age, I don't know, but I, I try my very best to put my phone down as much as possible. Um, Me too. Yeah. Me too. Uh, I I think we were... Are you are you classed as an 80s baby? Oh yeah, You're 80. an 80s baby, right? 81. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 89, so... Youth. We, we were... <laughs> the youth here yeah um when we were at school you know computers were just starting to come in mainstream and yeah phones were just like these massive little bricks and they were massive house bricks weren't it, they so it's i think it's quite comfortable for us to have a lot of time away from our phones yes yeah um but sometimes I'm, I even when I'm walking my girls in the morning and kids are at the bus stops. I remember when I was a kid, we were all just standing there gossiping. Yeah. And now they're not talking to each other; they're just down so, looking at their phone. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. And I, I, it's, it's I, you know, I can appreciate that they're they're all individually looking at something that means something to them. But when you yeah. stand back and look at the bigger picture, it's like yeah, the social aspect of you know going out and playing outside and just being in a group of people and concentrating on something that's happening in front of you in real life instead of just staring at a phone doing whatever it's like yeah I, it annoys me <laughs> um yeah I, I i i wouldn't be without it that's the that's the other thing i wouldn't i couldn't be without it it's a lifeblood for my work as well no i i, I completely agree and I, this is the this is the the, the situation we're in isn't it it's, it's as frustrating as it is sometimes to want to not have it around it's like yeah but you need it it's it does hold all your valuable personal information there's so many things you do with it that you need to keep on top of on a daily basis it's like yeah it's um it's annoying because I, I there was a, a little while ago I, I i looked into i wanted to go go back old school go retro and get hold of like an old phone but you can't use them anymore yeah. the um because all of our smartphones use essentially the internet and the 4G and the 5G networks to, to function, the old, yeah. I think it, I think they're GSM networks, the, 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 the phone network that the old phones used to talk to each other on, that, that, that isn't up and running anymore. So even if you had, even if you went out and went full retro and bought yourself a, a Motorola StarTac or a, or a Nokia 3210, you can't do anything with it. Can't do anything with it. Yeah. No, so, so, no hope in hell. Yeah. Um, 
anyway. It's remarkable, really, isn't it? It is, it is. <clears throat> I'm still, I, I've, I've got an iPhone at the minute that's, it's an old iPhone that I'm trying to keep going. It's, I think it's a 7 Plus. So I'm, I'm nowhere up to date with the latest stuff. I've done, I've, this one used to be Claire's, my, my better half, Mrs. Farmer Sim. Um, I took this one off her when she got an upgrade, and I've just, I've just got it on the GIF GAF network. Um, Put a SIM card in, and you're, you're good to go. Essentially, yeah, yeah, because I, I, I don't use my, I don't have any need to use anything data. I don't watch videos when I'm not at home, for example, when I'm out and about. So, all I need is a phone to work for, for me to be able to phone and receive phone calls to on. Phone someone. Yeah. Um, and just a phone for phone reasons. A phone you mean? for phone. Yeah, exactly. I use a phone for phone reasons when I'm, and then when I'm at home and I'm connected to the internet at home, I can just and then I can use it for, you know, watching videos whatever, or whatever browse, you want. Browsing internet. Yeah, um, my, my husband takes my old phones. Yep. So we re recycle down. Yes. Um, and it, it just works. So I get a new phone for my business every couple of years. Oh dear. And uh, so I do have the latest one, but they go up, they go out of date within a year. So they do, and that's it, it's frustrating, isn't it? Because you, you you know monetary value, they're worth you know they're pretty much knocking on the door of a thousand quid now, aren't they, for a, for the latest phone? Um, they really are. Yeah, and it's, they're so expensive. Yeah, I mean, I, I I get that they're so technologically advanced, and the it's the cameras, isn't it? They update the cameras, and I know that the latest one. As you've got like three or four lenses on the back of the camera and it's like what really it's got like the super yeah. duper megapixel quality pictures and the, the the next best processor inside it and it's got you know loads of data space and all that kind of stuff but you're talking eight nine it is, thousand it pounds. is remarkable yeah. it is remarkable uh, and it, there there are those phones they bring out which are a big step up and there are the ones which are just in between. Yes. If you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, totally. But uh, yes, you'll be happy to know barley is going in the ground. Goodness me, you got the you got the. Uh... Oh wow, you're way ahead of me, aren't you? I thought you'd still, but I thought you'd just be polishing off the cultivating. But we've been. Uh... No, this is a much smaller field. It is, I suppose, isn't it? And we've been babbling much on. Much smaller field. Right. Uh, that. You've been back to the shed, you picked up a new tool and you're back in the field again. I am. And I'm but just... no, that's um I've got a wider this is wider as well. It's a wider wider implement, smaller field. Oh you'll be done in no time. I'm guaranteed you? to get this done, yeah. You are. I I love this mod. This is the one you found. The um what is it called? Let me get in zip closer. Is it is, is it Cavernaland? The Curveland Accord. Yeah. Optimum V or five, whichever. It's the all-in-one thing, isn't it? However you want it. It's amazing. I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> it is a good one, a good find. And, uh... and it just it just spins round corners. I know that sounds really stupid, but it's so it just hugs to the tractor. It's smooth. Are you in the fence as well, or have you picked up your tractor? I can't see. Oh, I'm there. in mine now. Oh, there you are. Yeah, it needs yes. bigger horsepower. Yep. Yeah. No, I, I saw that then. Yeah. So we're both in our in our respective tractors. I've still. Yeah, got... I I did. Uh, I started to. Uh, I picked it up with the fence, and then I was driving along, and I was like, "Nope, this is front <laughs> struggling. feels a bit light." <laughs> yeah, this is not going to cope. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I had to switch it very quickly. No, that makes sense. I suppose just think, we haven't got a weight, a front weight for anything, have we? Yeah, have we? I suppose at some point when, no, we, when, our, when we, our bank account's a bit more blessed, we should we should consider get some front weights. Yeah, pick up one or two just in case. Um, Absolutely. But yeah, so we get coming on all right in this field. I, I'm I'm still I'm just going round and round and round, just doing headland after headland. But I'm uh, I, I don't think, I don't even think I've hit fifty percent yet. Not that I've got any way of telling. Um, I've got a well, massive. Well, I massive... can. Um, I We've actually been playing for 30 minutes already. We've we been have recording for 30. 29 minutes and 24 seconds because I have got an ability to see how far long I've been recording. I, I've had that all the time. You know, I said in the last video, I was like, I don't, I've got no way of telling. There's a little counter there in the bottom right-hand screen of OBS, my recording software. Mm. It's been there all the time. Yeah, I just... 
when when we're playing it the time just flies doesn't it it does mate it really does time flies when you're having fun and yeah we just sit here and natter to each other put the world to right so to speak moan about mobile phones <laughs> <laughs> and before moan you know about it, life indeed indeed um but should but, uh, i mean i mean oh. should should we i mean we're at, we're at 30 minutes now so our, our limitation is usually about an hour isn't it it um, is. Should we bring everyone back in in a little bit to show them how well we're getting on? Yes, I think so. Yeah, because I, 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 I've I've definitely got more than half an hour of, of, of topping left, and we want we want to progress a bit to give the viewers something something new to look at. So yes, yeah, if we uh, <laughs> if we if we say a, a, a temporary goodbye for now, and we'll we'll jump back in shortly. For for us, it'll be a while. For you guys, it'll be a matter of seconds. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see you all in a little while. See you in a bit. So, welcome back, everybody. We thought we'd jump in and just give you a bit of a bit of an update on where we're up to. We are still in the beet field, aren't we, Mrs. SG? We are, and to the left, you can see Farmer Sim has topped the one on the left, and we are in good progress on harvesting 31 but it's taking some time it's taking some time it is it is but i'm i'm very grateful for your uh, your the way you found about har uh, keeping a straight line when you're harvesting is to do sugar beets in cab it's absolute genius in it's, the cab yeah so much easier than doing it out of the cab it's absolutely it's night and day it really is so you just you just keep it is, isn't it? keep a visual line on a marker on somewhere on the front of your tractor um and it's so much easier yeah it's brilliant. And to give everybody an update, we're up to 277,554 litres on our sugar beet. Are we? Um, we are. 270? We are. We've got Goodness me. over a quarter of a million. See, put it that way, that's even more incredible. Brilliant. Yeah. Ooh, there's a few bits I've missed over so there. So cool. I the missed dump. a couple of strips as well. We've been, we've been sharing the jobs, haven't we? We certainly have. We certainly have. I'm just going to... Oh, do you know what? I've done it again, Mrs. SG. What have you done? Well, you full? Yeah, well, I, I, I was full minutes ago. I'm just I'm now just reversing to find where I was full up to. Oh, dear. See? Talking, having fun, enjoying talking to each other, and I forget where we're up to. You're up to where my nose is. Where are you? Keep going, keep going. Oh, there you are. Oh, Thank you very yeah, keep much. Going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep um, going. Plant yourself down there. That'd be good. Excellent. Thanks, mate. Oh, yeah, I can see now. I'm going to... Lovely stuff. I'm going to have to drive on the crop. Sorry, crop. Oh, it'll be reet. Be reet. So, yeah. There we go. You empty. Yeah, so I am over to Farmer Sims' left and my right. The barley is in the field. Um, all fertilised and... We can just now leave that, can't we, until September, I think, next year. Yes, we certainly can. Yeah, you did a good job getting that drilled, mate. You really did. Um, it's it's pretty much done and dusted, isn't it? We just need to let it sit there. I suppose we need to keep an eye on if, if we get a, a growth of any weeds coming through, but hopefully we won't. But uh, we did pl did we, we did plough that field, didn't it's we? It's ploughed. Yeah, it's yeah. been ploughed, yeah, we did, so yeah. we should be all clear now. It's one we can forget about for a little bit. Indeed, indeed it is. So, yeah, we will... Um, we can just let that sit back and let that one do its thing and concentrate on these two for now at least anyway um, get these beats out I'm of the ground zoom... absolutely I'm zooming out just a little bit so you can my viewers can see where the edge is and where we've got up to it's going pretty well um, but it's it's a good few hours. What we started this in-game day at eight a.m. We've got it on real time, and it's now nine fifty. So we've been at this now for nearly two hours. Goodness, we have, haven't we? Yeah. We've been busy, mate. We've been busy. Oh, there we've you are. You're, along, you're alongside me, keeping me empty. Thanks, mate. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of work here. I think. I'm not going to try and figure out a percentage of how we, of what we are through this field yet, but it's definitely not quite halfway yet, for sure. No, no. But we have talked about field number 30, which is the one in front of us. 
We think we'll keep that one as our root crop field. Yes. It's a reasonable size. We would still be able to get a couple of hundred thousand litres off of there. Yep. Um, for for pig feed or the pig mix at least. Mm -hmm. um, so we that's that is in our agenda. Very but much I don't is. think yep. we'll be keeping three as uh, no. <laughs> as and definitely not as this for one. Sure. No, I absolutely agree. Certainly not this one. It's way too big to be sugar beety. I think it is. Um, in fact, I'm going to jump out to the different view just to position myself. There we go. And back up we go. Excellent. Yeah, let's... Let's put cruise control on, but this time keep an eye on my fill level, young man. Yeah, I'm going to come alongside you until I'm full up. I've got 14,000 litres in here, so... Oh, OK. I can take a little bit. Why not? Why not? There you are. Hello. And everybody, hello. excuse. Hello. Ex oh, excuse the driving on crops. It's uh, a oh, necessary it's... evil when you've only got a tiny hopper. Yes, very much so. Yeah. What does it hold? This is it? Six thousand litres. Six thousand. Six thousand. Yeah. yeah. And that trailer holds eighteen, so that's three times the size of this. So yeah, that's. Uh, yes, please excuse the uh, the driving on crop. I suppose. Well, I suppose one thing we could do at some point is um, uh, we could we could kit. I mean, I might do it on mine. We could we could kit out one of our tractors with row crops, so that we it's can. Probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it happened. That's twice this episode. I've had a good idea. Look at that. <laughs> I shall, I, I shall, Hold on. I, yeah, I shall scribe Hold it down. On. Scribe it down in stone in the annals of history that Farmer Sim had a good idea twice in one day. <laughs> Amazing. Right, that's me full. Okie dokie. You go get I'm empty, gonna mate. Leave, leave you to keep beating. Yeah. Um, keep beating. Yeah. Keep beating. Oh, of course. I I normally drive everywhere on cruise control. Of course, you've set yours to six, so I was like, "What is going on with your tractor? <laughs> Why isn't it yeah. moving?" Tractor's rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've swapped tractors again because I think my my the nose on my tractor fits perfectly to that harvester. Yours is just slightly wider than mine. But I got a fat nose, is that what you're trying to say? You Mrs. got a fat SG? nose, that's what I'm trying to... <laughs> that is exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? But no, yeah, you're probably about right. Yeah. <laughs> my, uh, my slick, slim, green Voltra yeah, it is, is perfect working. for beat. It does work very well, I'll, I'll give you that, mate. It's... Uh, yeah, I think I've got the uh, I've got the alignment down to a T now. You keep you keep the the outer row of beats in line with the inner line of the tire. Is that right? I think. Yeah, yeah that is right. And you, and doing it that way, you can pick up six rows of beats. So that's <laughs> pretty good. I'm, I'm, all, I'm, I'm, all, I'm already at uh, eighty percent. Interestingly, actually. It does it, the the yield map. I've just brought the map up, and the yield map is currently waving between orange and yellow, which yeah essentially is a bit. It's kind of in the middle, isn't it? It's a bit. It's neither here nor there, but still, it's incredible how quickly the hopper fills up. It's just a very dense. Are you full? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. Sorry, I am full. Yeah. Come yeah. In. There we go. Uh, whoopsie. All right, speedy <laughs> Gonzales. Mip mip. Like roadrunner, you aren't you? I am. Yes. <laughs> I reckon we're close to fifty percent of having this done, you know, because there are a few headlands the other side. Yes. Yeah. You're probably about right. To be fair. Yeah. Um, right. There we go. Empty. I shall crack on. Um, just at the end of this one now, but it's pretty. It's pretty much a hopper per row, isn't it? That we're getting. Yeah. So I'm at 16. In fact, how are you still picking up? How is. I don't know. Right. Let's get this one turned in. I might miss one or two at the end there, but we'll. 
we can tidy when we yes, come will, to that point. There will, there will undoubtedly be some tidying up to do at the end. But yeah. Oh, hello. There we are. Oh, sorry. I keep on getting random lag spikes. And it's, uh... Have you come to trade paint with me? You, you, you I've like come your... to trade paint. <laughs> there we are. Looking groovy, though. Yeah. Doing this pretty good. Oh, it's so cool running in cab with somebody running next to you. It is, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way cool. It works so well. Hello. There you are. <laughs> I just wish our, the characters would also turn. I was I was just thinking about that, actually. So if I turn to view you in cab, you don't see me turning. You just see me no. ign ignorantly just looking forward. But <laughs> I'm not looking at you. Not looking at you. You're not there, blanking. Yeah, okay, that you makes sense. You do not exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How rude. So. Shall we bring everybody back in once we're a little bit further along? Yet another good idea, mate. Yep. Yeah, I don't think they're going to want to be uh, put through the next hour or so's worth of laborious beating. So, yes, we shall, uh, yet again, we'll say a very brief goodbye and we shall join back up with you in a wee while when we've... When we've done this field, do you think? Should we call it when we've done this field, or...? Well, Sounds great to me. Yeah. All right, guys. We will see you soon. Catch you in a bit, everyone. Well, 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 Farmer Sim. 400,000 litres now in our silo. That's incredible, mate. It really is. That's a hell of a lot it, of sugar beets. It is. I'll pull up my uh, my menu now and show everybody. Likewise. So, 400... And 2,076 litres. Not bad for these two fields, right? It's not bad, and we've still got one field to do, haven't we? So that's not... We do. That's, this that's this one over here? It. Yeah. It's, it's definitely going to tip us over that half a million. I reckon it will. I think you're right there, mate, because th I'm sure this field is roughly about the same size as the, the first one we did. Um, mm. Wow. Half a million litres of <laughs> anything in our first couple of episodes is pretty incredible. So, it uh, is, isn't it? We're going to be quite wealthy when we sell mo when we sell some of this, aren't we? We'll have a few quid in our back pocket to do something with. Buy some, yes. buy, and extend the farm. Extend the farm, definitely. Well, we've, we've, by the time we plant these, we're going to be thinking, right? Well, we're going to be twiddling our thumbs, aren't we? So, are we? We're going to want something to do. <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Until about March, because we don't have any animals, there's like no ongoing maintenance, is there? So, no, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so there we are, people. We've got the big sugar are. beet field harvested. We've got this one left to do now. I think we may well get this one done off camera. I think we've all, including yourselves, we've all had enough of sugar beets for the for, for the the last video in this video. I think that's it for sugar beets. So we'll we'll get this one done off camera, won't we, mate? Um, we and will. then. It's a bit of field prep then, isn't it, to get ready for re-drilling? Yep, field prep and, yeah, we'll leave this field and the big field for something next March. And the one by the silo, we're, we're going to put wheat in. So yes. we've, we've got a plan. We've got a plan, Stan. We've just got to follow through. <laughs> we have, mate. We certainly have. We certainly have. Well, thank you, mate. Thank you for another great episode. I've really enjoyed myself yet again. Thank you to you, and thank you to everybody watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we have creating it. Absolutely, yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it, as always. Get, give us both a like and a, a hit the subscribe button on both of our channels. The links will be in the descriptions below on both of our videos, won't they? Um, they absolutely will, and my crash counter is zero this time, guys, so yeah, I want a comment about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brilliant. All right, see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. See ya.